Okay, welcome back. So, so far we've got our character controller set up with uh, basic movement with our Xbox controller. So we can run around, and that's about it. But we don't have a camera yet, so it's really hard to tell where you're going. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a really basic follow camera, and we're just going to follow at a fixed distance from the character. So we've just created an empty script here. We'll open it up in Monitor Develop, and we're going to copy in some code. So the first thing I want to do is add in some variables. And for those variables, we're going to have a distance away, which is going to be a fixed distance from the back of the character where we want to position the camera, a fixed distance up from the character where we want to set the camera, a smooth value, which is going to be how long it takes from the camera to move from its current position to where we're trying to place the camera, and we're going to have a follow, which is going to be a transform. The reason we're doing this is because if you actually followed just the character's transform, since the character has a rigid body attached to it, his position is going to be updated with the physics calculations, which happens in fixed update, which is bad because his, up, his position doesn't get updated as much, so it'll be really jerky. So what we did is we just created a, a really, um, em just an empty game object, positioned it at zero as a child of the beta character. We're going to follow that instead. We'll just tag that guy player. So tag him player, and we'll go back to the script. And uh, we've got our target position, which is where we're trying to position the camera. We're going to take smooth time to get there. So let's add in a call to find game object using the tag player that we added. We're just going to set that into follow. So that's going to just quickly grab this uh, transform right here and just toss it into our script. And now we're going to copy some code into another Unity function called late update. So this is a Unity event function that is useful for camera stuff because after you've positioned all your objects, you can put your camera code here and you'll be sure that since this happens after update that everything will have been positioned by this point. So copy this code, place it in, and let's have a look at what we're doing here. So we're setting target position. And what we're doing is we're taking the follow position, we're moving up by doing vector addition by this distance, and we're moving back by distance away by using subtraction based on the uh, follow of the character, his forward vector. So we've got our character here, and if you look at the character, his follow transform is this, uh, his, his forward transform is this blue arrow here, his Z direction, and his up arrow is this, uh, this direction right here, this, this Y value. So we'll have a look at that script again. And uh, we're just using vector3.up and uh, vector3 and follow.forward. So we could just make this follow.up, just so we're making sure that we're always getting the characters follow. And the difference there is vector3.up is 0, 1, 0. And characters up will always be zero one zero since we're just on a 2D plane, but just in case he moves around, we want to make sure we, we take that into account. And what we've done here is we've drawn three rays just as a debug. We've drawn the position, the character's position, to this up vector that we've created, this up offset. We've drawn the character's position to this away distance offset that we've created. We've drawn one more, which is a line from the follow position to the target position. So let's have a look at what those look like in the editor. So let's save this script. Go back to the Unity editor and hit play. And let's look at those vectors that we just drew. Doesn't look like it's updating. And that is because we did not set any script variables for the camera. So we need to actually set those. Distance away, we're going to set to be, uh, we can go with 5, maybe distance up is 2, that's in meters. And we're going to take, uh, we use 3 as our smoothing value. And just to make sure uh, you realize what that's for, if you look in mono develop, we've got time dot delta time times smooth. So what this is doing with this alert is it's uh, normalizing it using time delta time, which is the difference in time between frames. So that's sort of like a platform agnostic way of making sure that your values are normalized. So let's look, give this one more shot. All right, great. Now we can see our values. So we've got this blue vector here, which is our distance away, and this red vector, which is our distance up. And you can see if you add those two vectors, you get this vector, which is, uh, I mean, you could do it using Pythagorean's theorem, and that's where we want to place the camera. So that's what all of this line of code is doing right here. It's doing all this math right here. So that's nice, but now we actually want to do code to position the camera there. So we take the transform of the, of the oh, sorry, position the camera there. So we want to take the position of the camera and set it equal to the lerp of its current position, and we're literally interpolating between the current position and this purple vector where we want to place the camera. And we're doing that over, over this much, like 0 to 1 based on this time. So as time progresses, it'll move into that position. And the last thing we want to do is make sure that we look at, we're making sure the camera faces towards the character. 
So that's what transform.lookat does, is it just makes sure that it, the fit camera is always facing the character. So let's run and see if it worked. Awesome. You can tell it works pretty well. It's a really basic camera. It's not great, but uh, it follows behind the character and it's easy enough to move through the blocks now. Let's have a look at that using our little debug right here. So as you can see those three vectors, you can see how the camera is being positioned based off that. And if you look at the actual camera object, see how it's like swinging back and forth, trying to position at that purple vector? That's the result of this smoothing value. So if you increase the smoothing value of this camera, it'll be more snappy. So set this to like 10, or just to, just to prove the point, maybe 50. As you can see now, it definitely sticks much closer to that vector, and it's almost one to one now. So that's it for the first version of the camera. As you can see, it's not great. We're going to be improving on that in the next lesson.